Hi guys, how are you? And welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a beginner's series. It's a beginner's guide to primers. I'm not feeling well, which is why I'm going to be taking a cup of my tea. This is ginger, lemon, honey, and cinnamon. Mm. Yeah, I've got ginger in my mouth. Yo. Okay, so one of my friends says that I don't qualify for sick leave. <laughs> so I have to work. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about makeup primers and why you even need them in your makeup kit. It's like uh, when you start learning about how to use makeup, what kind of makeup to use, there's so much you need to know. You start thinking to yourself, do I really need to? I mean, seriously, can I just put my foundation, eyeliner, get out the house? Well, I've got something. Okay, look at it this way. Uh, makeup is like working on a construction. So you're building a house, you need a foundation, and the first thing that you need to do is site preparation. So you prepare your site, there you are, you put your plot, you want to put your house there, and what you need to do first is get rid of all the trees and the grass, not all the trees, okay, don't kill me now, we still need air to breathe, you're going to get rid of all the grass, and then you're going to dig it up, and then you're going to put foundation, so the way to flawless foundation and flawless skin looking skin after applying makeup is to prep your skin so you wash your face you moisturize your face and then you prime it primer is a base so i've got one two three four ah, sorry <laughs> five and six primers that i want to talk to you about so when it comes down to primers, there are two kinds of primers. No, three, but I'm going to talk about two types of primers. They're gel silicon based primers and then they're creamy primers. Um, the difference between these two are what they do for you. So some are made for people with your dry skin, large pores, um, fine lines and wrinkles and all of that. So it depends on what your skin needs. And you'll find, I know I've had these, so many of these conversations where someone says, yeah, but you're saying that's good, but when I use it, it doesn't work for me. The reason for that is we all have different skin types. You have oily skin, I have dry skin, or the other way around. So something that works for me won't necessarily work for you. I think with a lot of makeup stuff, it's about trial and error. Um, get a, what do a test tube, do um what do they call that thing? Like a skin test, yeah, patch test. And then when you're done with your patch test, you see whether or not it's gonna make your face rehab, does it go with your skin tone and all that stuff. So, I am going to read, because I have pointers, because I've got like an old person's brain, I forget things. Um, primer is a godsend, people. I mean, I know some people believe they don't need a primer, but I really think you do. Um, you can use it as a barrier between your skin and whatever you're going to apply on your skin. You can use it to protect your skin. Um, so, whether you're wearing tinted moisturizer, or you're wearing a full face of makeup, like I did today, <laughs> a primer is very important for you. It's going to give you something to, it's going to give your makeup something to hold on to. Think about it this way. You've moisturized your face, it's a bit slippery, it's a bit shiny, and then you're going to put one to put foundation on top of that, uh, and expect it to stay all day. See, see where I'm going with this? It might not work out so well. So putting on a primer is going to give your face your sorry your foundation or tinted moisturizer something to hold on to um so here we go uh they are silicon based primers and the ones i have to look at these i forgot okay so i have two silicon based primers here i've got the la go pro pro prep high definition smoothing primer and the new, maybelline new baby skin instant pore eraser from what I've just read, I'm sure you've gotten the gist of what gel-based gel or silicon-based primers do, and that is that they smoothen your face. So they smoothen up your face. <clears throat> Oh wow. I feel like I'm gonna speak. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, no, it's not easy. <laughs> so they were going to um, smoothen up your face. Um, they create a, a smooth base. I feel like I've used the word smooth way too much already. But yeah, so that's what gel based primers do. They're going to, uh, they put a barrier between your skin that's going to smoothen it out so you've got an even base. It's going to be even. If you've got large pores, fine lines, wrinkles, it's going to just even out your skin. So that is exactly the same. When you put on your makeup, your makeup doesn't sink into your pores. Um, that's making your makeup look cakey. So um, I'm going to talk about this one first. So I bought these are all drugstore, by the way. So the most wait for it. Really? Auto focus? Really? 
Okay, we're back in business, you know. So we have the Wet n Wild. Okay, these are all drugstore. That's what I was saying. These are all drugstore. They are all under a hundred rand. I will be putting a little box somewhere over here or over here <laughs> that will tell you exactly how much the prices are. Because if I said now, I'd be lying. I bought these a while ago. So with the LA GoPro Prep, um, it meant it's meant to help smooth and fill in fine lines and pores. Uh, it's paraben and fragrance free, enriched with vitamin E. Um, I've used this primer. I use two primers most of the time that I use primers. I use this. Um, a smoothing one which is a silicon based one and then I use a creamy one which is for anti shine and helps control oil on my face because I've got really oily skin but then I also want to because I think I've got large not large pores but like pores you can see like around here my nose teaser so I just want to cover that up and I think using both of them well it works for me I think at the end of the day you need to choose something that works for you so this works really good and so does the baby's Maybelline baby skin pore eraser this is it instantly erases pores, uh, smooth looking. You are meant to apply it alone or under makeup for, and it's only for adults. <laughs> they just had to put that disclaimer. One other thing that I want to tell you about primers is if you don't want to wear makeup but you still just want to look decent before you leave the house, you don't want to go out with a shiny face, you can apply a primer, it smoothens out your face, and you're good to go. But it depends on your skin type, I also think. Um, but yeah, so these are the two drugstore primers that you can get that are silicon based and are meant to um, cover up your pores. They will help with fine lines as well as. Yeah, that's right about it. But yeah, you're good. These two. So, Illegal and the Baby Skin one. The next one that I want to tell you about is um, these two. I love these. These are my favorite. Reasons being, like I said, my pores aren't really a prob uh, problem with my face. Oiliness is a problem for me. Like, I have really, really oily skin. I've said this before. You can literally take oil from my face and moisturize your own face. That's how bad it is. Um, so, I have the Wet n Wild face primer. Really? They couldn't come up with something else? Wet n Wild coverall primer. And this is meant to prime your face, um, refine pores. Fill in fine lines, brighten your complexion, and even your skin tone. And this one is the Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine for Refining Anti Shine Base. It's mattifying, long lasting, and oil free. Oil free, oil free, oil free. and you've got me. Like, I mean, put that on any of your <laughs> bottles, and I'm there. I'm your number one. Uh, Wait for that customer. Yes, there we go. The Catrice one is a lightweight primer which minimizes shine and reduces optical, optically the size of pores and is long lasting. So if you don't want your makeup to be sliding off your face all day, using a primer beforehand will help you with that. And wait, uh, helps makeup stay in extreme weather conditions. So for some, especially this one, like the Catrice one is amazing. For the price, I honestly think. Yeah, I am saying, yeah, because I had a Revlon one and I've had a MAC one, I think it competes with high-end brands as well, because this makes my makeup stay all day long. If I apply it, I know my face isn't going to get oily, especially my nose area, which is the one place that I read really, really oily. Um, so, <clears throat> makes you look polished. It seals in the perfection all day long, which is something that I really like. Sorry. I'm gonna be on my Wendy Williams and just, you know, take a sip of tea. <laughs> okay, so there we go. So it's going to seal in the perfection all day long. Um, and I think it helps build a foundation for your skin and for the rest of your makeup that you're going to put on. Highlighter, concealer, uh, contouring, everything. I think, yeah. And then the other two primers, these aren't face primers, but then your eyes are on your face, so they are face primers, aren't they? Okay, these aren't face primers, these are eyeshadow primers. And the first one is the LA Girl Pro Prep Prime Pro Primer. Um, it's a high defin eye, high definition eyeshadow primer. So I use this before I put on my eyeshadow. I've realized that I've got also really oily eyelids, so I don't want to end up with you know when you do your makeup here in the house, it looks perfect. You walk out the door, five minutes later you've got eyeshadow just here or just at the top and nothing else <laughs> because the oil has seeped all your foundation. I mean your shadow from your face. Yeah. So I use a a, a base 
for, before I put on my eyeshadow. And then the next one that I have is the Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. So this allows your eyeshadow to pop all the colors um, and that's why I use it. So I usually put this and this on top. I love that thing out, clearly, uh, just to make sure. <laughs> so yes, these are the... Ah, uh, Jesus, my mind just went blank. Yes, these are the two eyeshadow primers that I have and the rest are face primers. And they're meant to, again, I'm going to read it from my list. Uh, give your makeup something to hold on to if you're a list person. It's like side preparation, seal imperfection, <laughs> uh, smoothens fine lines, wrinkles, uh, large pores, and also helps color correct. So there's some uh, primers out there, depending on what you want. I know Smashbox has those. If you, they say you struggle with um, spots on your face from acne scars or um, actual acne and you want to kind of color correct that first before you put on your foundation, they are primers like that. They have a green one, a blue, purplish one, and I also think a yellow one. So depending on what you want to correct on your face, they are primers that you can use at the same time that have color correcting abilities and also priming abilities. So you put that together and now you don't have to use a color corrector after. Get the gist? Yes. So um, I genuinely believe everyone should use a primer. It's, it helps, I think it helps protect your skin from everything that you're going to put onto it. Um, if you suffer from acne, something filling, filling up your pores with a lot of makeup and product will cause your face to break out. So imagine putting a, <clears throat> putting a primer acts as a, acts as a barrier between your skin and your makeup and all the products that you're going to pile on. So I would suggest that you buy yourself a primer, an affordable one. All these primers are just as good as high-end primers. Are just as good as high-end primers and they're under 100 rand and it's really worth investing in a primer i think when it comes down to makeup it's worth investing in it you don't have to buy everything all at once start small start with a primer and a foundation and a powder and then lipsticks and slowly buy two products every month until you build a collection as opposed to um compromising on certain things so thank you so much for joining me um i hope my voice wasn't too irritating because I know that it's really hoarse-ish and my throat is killing me so before I make it worse because nowadays y'all I don't know why if my allergies go on a fritz which they do all the time in PE because the weather is moody I end up losing my voice what does that mean? like I wake up in the morning and my voice is gone I mean I need my voice <sighs> so I'm going to stop straining my voice vocal cords and um, even though I'd like to talk to you guys all day long, I'm going to be out. So, oh, before I leave, Eleko Pro Prep Wet n Wild Coverall Primer, um, New Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser, Catrice Prime and Fine uh, Pore Refining Anti Shine Base. This is my favorite. I would suggest you go and look for this and use it. It's amazing for your skin. Like I said, it's got everything in one. It's pore refining, um, it's mattifying, long lasting, and oil free. What more would you want to find? And it's under 100 grand. So hard for that. Thank you again for joining me and for all those subscribers. Uh, thank you so much. For people that are new to the channel, thank you for joining the NKB family. NKB standing for new kid on the block. <laughs> uh, see you soon. Bye. <laughs>